All right. You, you want to scoot in a little more? There you go. That's good. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Brick System Brothers. I'm Nathan. I'm Josh. And it's been a minute, but today we thought we'd look at some of the upcoming 2023 LEGO sets that have an image on Brickset. Uh, most of these have been announced throughout the past month or so and will be released going into January. Some of them already available as well, but Brickset has them all in one place. We have 179 2023 sets with an image that are officially revealed. We thought we'd just scroll through, share our opinion a little bit, have some commentary. Um, these are sorted by theme alphabetically. Of course, that starts with Avatar. Josh, you have anything to say about the Avatar sets? I haven't seen any of the movies, so I'm not particularly interested in the sets either, but um, it's kind of it's kind of different. I don't know. It's like uh, the combination of the techno. It's all, It almost reminds me of Ninjago. Some of the stuff we've seen in Ninjago, um, very similar to the Avatar sets. I do you like seeing some of the sand green pop up? in the uh, the vehicles on the human side and then of course you get some really interesting creatures on the, uh, the avatar side with that one next are some magazines skip past that a little bit and then we get to brickheads there's a tuscan raider um, the interesting thing we see in the brickheads this year is the return of the lord of the rings theme so far exclusive to the brickheads theme we don't have any new minifigures we don't have any new sets but i think it is uh, a new kind of a new hope for getting that theme back into minifigure territory uh, of course originally got that theme in 2012 had a very short run had some excellent sets released but now very hard to find um, the Lord of the Rings minifigures and the Hobbit stuff as well so we've got a Frodo and Gollum Gandalf and Balrog and Aragorn and Arwen brickheads so far announced for Lord of the Rings like I said hopefully we see this transition into some minifigs and sets Next up after that is Bricklink Designer Program. First thoughts on these, Josh? Um, I think they're kind of cool. It's a lot of pieces, so um, be kind of expensive. Yeah, they will be expensive. I think this has given people a, a chance to see the more of the like the mock side in uh, officially released Lego sets. Almost something like Ideas, but without as much of the modification that we've seen. Um, where the LEGO group will come in and kind of redesign a set to that standard. I think a lot of the BrickLink designer programs, they still had to go through and do iterations, but there was a lot more involvement with the original designers, um, and that has led to sets that look like this, where we would probably never see the LEGO group release something this intricate, um, but there is a large enough market now through this program uh, to, to get these released. Some of them are definitely expert level, like that train station there, would not be rated for ages 13 and under, I no. don't think. Um, yeah, $400 RRP, so that is definitely going to be more of a um, an upper level. And I think we've got four of these that are, you know, it was from the program last year, or 2021, mm -hmm. and it's taken this long to get through the, the process. So they'll probably be released sometime in 23. Then we get to City. We've got some small stuff here. Um, there is a new police sub theme for like the the forest mountain style again we saw something really similar to the, the forest police do you remember what year that was it was like 2014 maybe it was a while ago, 2012 yeah. possibly it's the same year they had the um firefighting forest as well yeah and we we kind of have this off-road uh fire truck as well this year mm -hmm. um we do have this new yellowish bright vibrant yellow color coming into they play. They changed the sub color once again? Yeah it? well it's a new color this okay. is that, that's a 2022 color so they're I think they're trying to use that in these uh, city sets. So the police is kind of like a training academy and then the fire is just another theme looks like. Yeah that looks like a new um, kind of screw element right there I haven't seen that before. Mm -hmm. They've got a horse police horse interesting yeah <laughs> no um, large vehicles with the main like police station which is kind of interesting just a four-wheeler there's an emergency vehicle this has some teal some nice teal in it nice. this is interesting to combine all three themes all three themes in one set mm -hmm. so that would be a really good starter for someone who doesn't have a lot of city and you're looking to get some of those vehicles this emergency vehicle HQ really good starter for that 
I Something that's kind of interesting is it seems as Lego is trying to push this. I, don't, I know it's not called Juniors anymore, but I'm kind of stuck with the name. So yeah, it's still Tech Juniors. Oh, okay. I it's it's for entry level builders basically, yeah. and so it's good for figs, but I kind of find the point the the parts kind of like annoying to use and stuff. So where it's all one mold, like yeah. this entire um, vehicle base. It's also a four wide vehicle. Mm -hmm. So yeah, really juniorized. Um, really looking at the entry level market of you know who are these sets designed for for the younger builders and yeah juniors I would say is still a relevant tag for those I've seen this one this one's been out for a little while again that vibrant yellow color uh, being used in some of our city sets the penguin slushy van that one's fun ooh that dumpster truck teal yep that's nice yeah I might have to get this I have uh, the old um, what's it called that middle medium green shade. Yeah, it's it's pretty old, like twenty. It's getting older. Maybe. Yeah, so I, I'm liking the look of this garbage truck. The way they did the the warning line with tiles, mm -hmm. it's really nice. The red and the white, where it's actually brick built instead of a sticker. I wonder how similar over the years they've kept like the system for dumping the trash cans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like a gravity system or yeah. uh, what kind of what kind of mechanism there is. Okay, we've got to talk about the gaming tournament truck, Josh. Uh, why does the front of the truck look so weird? <laughs> <laughs> it's, all right. It is definitely stylized. I think my biggest criticism of this set is the tiny wheels. <laughs> well, it's so narrow. Look, the, the trailer. whole trailer's only like four blocks wide. Looks no, like. I think it's six. Okay. Because you have a four wide windshield and yeah. then one more on each side. Still, I don't a six know wide trailer. To say about it this. is definitely an interesting idea for the gaming tournament truck. Um, yeah. Fun. <laughs> if anyone gets that and reviews it, I might have to watch that review. <laughs> That's interesting. Custom car garage. Uh, City's still doing six wide cars. So if you're disappointed that Speed Champions went to eight wide and you think that scale doesn't really fit vehicles as well, I think there's still good opportunities to get interesting six wide vehicles. They're just not going to be branded as and, branded and you know yeah. tied to a manufacturer. Police fire. ATV and the otters, Josh. We got Lego oh, otters. Finally, I've been waiting for this day. Have you? How many otters are you gonna get next year? Uh, ten. <laughs> <laughs> At least. It, this is the otter battle pack right here. <laughs> I like the sand green. Is that sand green? I think it is. It is yeah. the sand green uh, ATV torso there, um, and of course, beautiful Lego otter mold. All right. <laughs> got some monkeys, and now we have arrived at the collectible minifig. CMF. Um, I think most people are talking about the classic Spaceman in brown. Um, one of the last remaining colors that we didn't have all of the Spaceman elements for. And in addition to the new color, we also have a new Space Baby in classic blue. So I think a lot of people will be going after this particular CMF, and that makes this series, Series 24, uh, looking pretty decent so far. In addition to the Spaceman, uh, some of the other ones that I like are the Falconer uh, with that Black Falcon crest. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, we've seen that over the past couple years. Made its return in the Blacksmith set, which I did get. And uh, we've also seen it in some of the other castle sets um, that LEGO's been revisiting. See any other interesting ones here, Josh? Um, no. Maybe that Koala piece is... Oh, yeah. Conservationist. How many are there? There's two, four, six, eight, ten. Just twelve this year? Yeah, they went from sixteen to twelve. I okay. Think. So reducing the field a little bit, but I think overall really quality minifigures in this series. Oh, and another thing, it looks like they're going to be in the foil bag still, so you can do the uh, the squish test to try and find them. Um, I think they tested out the cardboard box style with Lego video minifigs, and I don't know how they're going to do their feedback system, but. I think still for Series 24, they're not going to make that switch yet. Then we get to Creator. Some of our nice entry-level Creator sets here. We've got Panda Train, Vintage Car. And then I think this White Rabbit is for the Lunar New Year, Year of the Rabbit. Um, but again, a Creator set here with the sculpting. A lot of those round elements being put to use. And the Birdhouse. Interesting scale for the Birdhouse there. Pinata. 
Then we get two creator postcards. I haven't really kept up with these. I don't know what other uh, continents or countries have done. That windmill is fun. That is cool, yeah. Yeah, I wonder what kind of tree this is supposed to be. Some sand green leaves there. Oh, it's a nice looking postcard. Uh, some Disney stuff, mostly focused on the uh, the princess side. More dots. For the girls. Yeah, dots is still going. That, that would have surprised me. To hear that dots is still a thing in like after four years. Ooh, that disco one is fun. Look at that one by one disco tile. <laughs> We've also got our pearlescent. So um, this is like the, the shimmer effects in the transparent plastic. A color, uh, a range of colors. I think we've got the kind of the brownish. Uh, there's two different blues and a green. And I think that's it right now. So four, hmm. four or five different pearlescent colors within the past couple of years. I'm trying to get parts in those colors. There's not a lot of them, but I do think they're interesting. More of the dots and then there's some Duplo. We'll scroll past that Duplo for now. Then we get to the Friends. Um, I don't want to spend a lot of time on Friends, but I did want to go back to this other article Bricks that put out. There's kind of going to be a reboot for Friends in 2023. Um, so they are doing some new characters. The first generation of the Friends have grown up, I suppose, and moved on. And now we have the new generation coming in. So the Friends theme as a whole, in general, I think is, is sticking to what it has been. Um, they're just going to bring in some of the new characters and populate those sets with these guys. So uh, I did catch that come through the news feed. And after that, I don't know a whole lot about what LEGO Friends is looking like. But um, if you don't see the old LEGO Friends characters and you see all these new people, that's kind of what's going on there. Um, just pick one at random. Yeah. So it's got the new friends. Interesting. Yep. There's a lot of friend sets though, and they're getting larger. Um, this is going to be a hundred and sixty dollar set oh, with wow. two thousand pieces. So values there is good. Um, colors. And that almost good. has like, like a modular setup. Yeah. To where in the future they might build some more bigger ones like this. Well, I think they already have quite a few street buildings to where, you know, people that are collecting friends buildings could almost have a friend city at this point. I think there has been that much uh, construction and, and that style has been done really consistently. So yeah, if you collect friends buildings and just friends buildings, you probably have a decent sized town by now without getting a single Lego city set. All right, moving on to Harry Potter. There are these book style sets for each house this year bringing in a few new characters as well. I think the one thing that people were excited about was uh, there was a Quidditch robe for one of the one of these houses that didn't have a Quidditch robe now has a Quidditch robe. Don't remember which one it was, but that's something I saw. Uh, we got the Room of Requirement set with some relevant characters and pieces. And the Triwizard Tournament is back really interesting build with the teal and the sand green and a very creepy mermaid <laughs> <laughs> true to the movie though <laughs> given that okay lego icons spend some time here uh, of course first up is our jazz club this is the 2023 modular uh, coming out right at the start of the year so a lot has been said about this already we've got the main color scheme here with the dark red building on top of a an azure uh, first floor and then to the right of that we have a smaller building with the uh, the bright light yellow color so I like it as a modular building I think before I bought the jazz club I would still want to get the boutique hotel which I have not picked up yet and uh, I can't say for certain that I am going to I am pretty happy with the modulars I have at the moment again I did build green grocer this year here in 2022 so um, not not really in a hurry to get another modular at the moment, um, but definitely keeping an eye on this. And uh, another great addition to the modular lineup. Um, yeah, building size wise, I think it's nice to have two different sizes instead of going with the same two again. One of the reasons for that was the bookstore modular, which has the two 16 wide buildings, that's actually still available. And so they didn't want to have two modulars available at the same time with that. That same style, style. Yeah. So they, they had the different sizes for the Jazz Club. Right below that we have 40580 Black Tron Cruiser 
guys, Blacktron has made a glorious return alongside the Galaxy Explorer, which was released this year. So the classic space really hitting the nostalgia hard and coming back. Um, and the only disappointment here for me is I believe this is going to be a gift with purchase. Mm -hmm. uh, Brickset does have a separate article about this up at the moment. So yeah, box art just beautiful here. Once it's put together, it looks like a lot of fun. Again, kind of sad that it is a gift with purchase. Now, what's the price amount for it? Um, Thirty-five. Speculated. Or? Probably be maybe a speculated close to two hundred. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not getting this. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's worth it. Like, unless there's unless you're gonna go get the modular, and you're saying, well, I'll just bundle the modular and hopefully get this. Other than that. If you're going out and finding two hundred dollars worth of Lego just to get this, yeah, it's hard hard to justify. Great set though. For Marvel, there's some mechs again. Well, the Rocket Mech armor, kind of interesting to get another Rocket Raccoon. If you have missed him in the past, um, another Hulkbuster. The Hulkbuster Battle of Wakanda. I think this is probably one of the better Hulkbusters at this scale that I've seen, and you get some nice minifigs. Quinjet. Again, some nice Avengers 2012 minifigs in this throwback set to the Quinjet. Um, some use of the new windshield elements here in the transparent light blue. But I think the price point on this is a little high, $100 for 800 parts. Yeah. The minifigs might make that worth it, but I probably won't get that one. Minecraft! Some fun Minecraft stuff, still going strong. Sword outpost, some nice use of the colors there to the, uh, the diamond sword. We've got the Olay mob. Is that is supposed to be a trident or what is he called? That's a sword. No, that's Oh, yeah, that's a trident. Why is it purple? It's enchanted. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> the Panda Haven. I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of people build like these kind of structures. I think these are supposed to be player built structures, but I would rather see Lego do the actual Minecraft generated structures that you know spawn in the game like if they like were a temple do, or something a jungle temple or a village like that, um, or for example deep dark a deep dark that warden's looking <laughs> uh, let's talk about the warden <laughs> <laughs> hmm. well okay, okay considering what pieces lego has to work with it's not terrible it's not a terrible warden there's room for improvement I think the bigger you go for scale, like if you were to do kind of a double scale of this warden, you could do a really good looking warden. But at minifig scale, where you have to go like maybe twice as tall as a minifig, it's going to be hard to capture all that detail yeah. with the existing parts. Um, we do have elements for the shrieker. The shriekers and the shulkers uh, have a new box element. Where do the shulkers go? Yeah. So this pair. Uh, of box elements with the corners uh, I think has been developed for Minecraft. So we'll see if that gets used outside the theme, but already used in two sets, so it has a little bit of versatility. Monkey Kid! Still a theme. It is still a theme. I like Monkey Kid. How it's gotten like a single set. I think I should get at least one Monkey Kid set before it's gone. I don't want to get a lot of them. So when I first saw this, it reminded me of Chima, like, a lot, because it does. I don't know what the set number is for that other one, but what a set that was. Yeah, it, well, Chima had the woolly mammoth, mm -hmm. and this is the yellow tusk elephant, so very similar subject matter, um, kind of building at that mech scale. There's another big headquarters. This is the hideout for this year, kind of a jungle style, again, bringing the sand green in. These three colors were the color scheme for the dragon jet, in 21 so that's cool it's like May's little area right there mm -hmm. and then there is another ultra mech this year as well Brickset has done a review comparing this mech to the previous mech very similar um, but there are some worthy differences worth pointing out and then we get to Ninjago uh, Ninjago and Monkey Kid very similar themes to me but they do have their own niche and Ninjago at this point almost a legacy theme it's been going for 11 12 years almost and we got some of the crystal. What was the um, what was the season for the show last year? Do you remember, Josh? Is something some kind of? Christmas I watched thing. the first two, and then I've never kept up from there. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if the sets are still following the show or where the show's at, but um, we've actually seen a lot of sets revisit previous sets and do kind of a legacy 
theme. So that's been interesting. Uh, for the people that did miss those originals, I kind of have another shot at that. Mm -hmm. And then our, our Chinese traditional festival sets, some interesting looking sets for this year. Uh, of course, the Lunar New Year Parade has a lot to offer, including, oh, where was it? One of these set images has another spaceman. Let's see if I can find him. There he is. Purple. Purple spaceman. Just the helmet. Yeah, it doesn't have the torso, so. But the classic spaceman helmet is different than the regular helmet, and now it looks like we'll have that available in purple. Fast and Furious. Nissan so, Skyline. Yeah, with the branding for Fast and Furious, they're... Uh, they've done the GTR. Yep. Hopefully, you're gonna do the Supra at some point. Um, there's a few other cars they could revisit, but there is a Speed Champion Supra, the yellow one. They do have the yellow one. Yeah. But Did you I, get that? I do have that one, but I feel like they would need to do with the licensing now the, the Speed um, Champion Supra mm -hmm. and uh, have a minifig to go along with that. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Star Wars from the first pack. Another one. We've got some new. Are these new prints? I believe they are. They do look like them. The small walker vehicle. TIE bomber. Haven't seen this particular TIE in a long time. Is this the one that was Vader's or was Vader's the... Vader's had that style wing, but it was just one central. Okay. The bomber has the central cockpit and then uh, a secondary chamber. So Lego did this set way back when they had the blue mm -hmm. on the wings, and they haven't done it since then. So, uh, yeah, just three Star Wars sets that we know of so far. And then Super Mario, I, I don't get these. Is sets. that for the movie or is that for... No, this is all still the, you know, that the Mario guy mm -hmm. that moves around the course. Yeah. So they will probably do something for the movie. I don't know. You think they will? I assume they would, since they already have the licensing. Very true. Yeah. I haven't heard anything about that, but uh, possibility. Technic. That's about it. That's about it for Technic. I think there are more Technic sets known, but they haven't been officially announced, so they're not here on Brickset. Um, but I'm sure we will get some more large Technic sets in 2023. So far, we just have um, a dump truck, forklift, snow groomer. This looks like the city snow groomer, same color. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's some uh, there's some 2023 Lego sets that we know about. So the decorations are stickers. What can you build? Because we have that yellow windshield from um, the Toy Story mm -hmm. movie. So we have that piece. I don't think they introduced any other pieces for this set. Just the stickers would be exclusive. And they wouldn't need to, because in order to stick to the classic look, they wouldn't really need to bring in new elements, I don't think. Right. Yeah, and some of these parts, if you have the classic printed version of that, you could rebuild the set. Mm -hmm. I kind of wish they did print them. Uh-huh. That's alright. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. I might have to give that a go and see if I can find one of these windshields, because I know I have some of these printed parts from Blacktron, so I could, I could probably try to rebuild this set using those parts and, mm -hmm. and skip the gift with purchase. That might be a feasible idea. You have Royal 5A0. Love that box though. It's a beautiful box. Brings back the memories that I don't have because I wasn't <laughs> alive in 1980. <laughs> so there's a few of these I might pick up. Some of these you might get, but uh, we'll just have to see for the summer wave. I don't think any of those are released yet, so. No. Yeah, I'm sure we'll get more. Um, I think there were close to 500 regular sets released this year, and so far we know about it about 200 sets for 23. So that's not even half mm -hmm. of the sets we'll probably see next year. Um, but it looks like it's gonna be a good one. So it is. I think we've got a solid start. We might look at some more once we see some pictures. But uh, that's it for now, guys. See ya.